Adrian Marsh Marty signing in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Codegrapher Team. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can how to compile your Python code to an executable, and finally turn that executable code into an installer. First, I'm just going to show you my basic little game here that it's my game about my dog that I'm going to be compiling. So it's a pretty functional game. It's got platforms that you can save the game. See, I save it, and then you can die. All right, so it's kind of got all the variables that like. It's got also got another another module with it that I created, and then it's got some some data files. So also just good stuff. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to compile it, and to do that we're going to use cx underscore freeze. It's a Python module. It's completely free, and all right. Then you'll see you'll you have, like you should see something like this. For me, I'm going to choose this one because it says um, it's got the https. The s is very important. That means that it is in fact the Python website and that means it's safe and then it's got cx freeze 4.3.4 and yeah it looks out and the important thing is 3.4 right there for me because so, i use python 3.4 of course if you use 2.7 or any other version of python feel free to use whichever version all right so this will take you to the python pypy yeah pypy i guess they call it pypy page and then just click on whichever one you want. I don't really know how to use wheel files, but I do know how to, how to use installers. So I'm gonna click on this one right here because I do have a 64-bit version of Windows. Of course, if you don't, if you have a 32-bit, go with 32-bit version. And then just click on it and click Save File. Now, um, yeah, McAfee's just scanning it a quick second to make sure it's completely safe. And I trust his website. I would not be um, saying to go with CX Freeze if there was any viruses attached to it. So once it's finished downloading, whoops, let's drag it to the desktop so you can see where it is. Um, a quick, whoops, right click on it, quick scan, even if you have Windows Defender, just scanning a quick second is always a good idea. I always scan my downloads, it says, all good, all good, okay, done. So then just double click on it, and just basically click next to everything. So yeah, make sure you already have Python installed. Click next, next, it'll install, and click finish. Now to test that you do in fact have it installed, go to your Python idle, go to the Python shell, and type import cx underscore freeze. Whoops, and remember guys, it's with the capital. That usually gets me a few times. All right, and if it does in fact go through, that means CX3 is, is successfully installed. All right, so now that we've got CX3 successfully installed, now we're gonna create our compiler. So just go to the directory of your TB application and edit with idle one of the folders. We'll just basically open a new Python document. Now we're gonna create the compiler, the setup compiler. So basically, it looks just sort of like this. We're going to start with import cx underscore cx underscore freeze. The big capital F is important. And then you go from cx underscore freeze import all. I don't know why import cx freeze doesn't work, but for some reason, don't ask me why. It just requires you to go see it from cx freeze import all. So anyways, moving things along. I type setup, open a set of parentheses, inside those parentheses, give yourself a little space to work. Then you're going to type name equals, and then type the name of your 2B application. In this case, it's Tubby Game. The name does actually matter because, I had a, a comment on that. So the name does matter, especially I have, like, see, see, Tubby Game imports camera as a module. If you don't name, say, if I was doing this with camera, if you don't name it camera, it's not gonna be able to find it. So you gotta name it what it actually is. Then we're going to type options options equals open a dictionary. Open some curly braces. And so those curly braces, you're going to type build underscore exe. You're going to add a colon to end that. Then we're going to open an, another dictionary. Inside that dictionary, open some quotes. Inside those quotes, type packages. And then add a colon. And then open some braces. Some square braces. And then once you do that, 
opens another set of quotes, and this is where you include um, your Python modules that you import in your game. So in my case, all I have is import pygame. That's all I really have, and that's all I really need. If you needed something like SciPy or Matplotlib, of course, include it, but in my case, no need. Add a comment to the end of that. Then we're going to type X E. I I don't think it's an A actually. X E Q D balls. Python is fussy if you make a little typo. And then you're going to go open a set of braces. I mean brackets. And then inside those brackets, you're going to want to type with cavalry X E uh, X E Q D ball. Open a set of regular old parentheses. Give yourself a little space to work. Then you're gonna want to type the name of your Python document. In this case, it's mine is just tubby game. Tubby game. Game dot pi. Include the extension and add a comma to end of that. And I'm fairly sure that this should work. I don't think we'll get any errors. But just in case, we're gonna compile we're gonna run it. So just save it as really whatever you want. But I normally just use setup.py. That works for me. I don't remember what it is. So F5. Hum. So so this is telling us something is wrong. Oh, uh, I think it's supposed to be equals. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that tells us that the but Python's saying nothing's wrong with this code. You're good to go. So now we have to open up Notepad. If you don't want to get there, turn on Windows Accessories, Notepad. All right. Then you're going to want to type just so a one-liner Pi, and you want to go setup or whatever you named your Python compiler. Setup.py, and then type build or beatist works to underscore on the side. But I'll just use build because right now we're just compiling. So go Control Save. Make sure you save it in your 2B application folder, and once and then you can name it whatever you want. I just name it build, but the important thing is dot bat, and all files is important as well. Once you save that, whenever you're ready, just double click it, and if it says running build, running build on screen exe, it's telling you all good, and that should close out, and we should have ourselves a guess a tubby game. Now, if you just click on your application, it's not going to work right now because you have to move the data, the data file, and any other files that the tub that your application is dependent on into the same directory. Whoops, I don't think I copied data. So let's just check it and make sure, ensure it works. A quick second. Open up. Play. All right, and we have a game. All right, so that's good. Let's see if the save works. So we save it here. Let's die. All right, save works all good. All right, so now we have an application. Now we just need to do the same thing for camera. This video is running quite long. Might have to make this into a part two, but we'll see. All right. Now that should fairly sure that that should work. Play yes. All right. Does it work without? Camera, delete. Let's try. Yes. All right. So now we have our game is now in application form. It will run on any computer, any Windows computer, and considering it's a 64-bit. So that step is out of the way. We have successfully compiled our Python to an executable. Alright, so the video is running quite longer than expected, so I'm going to have to split this up into part 2. Be sure to check out part 2. Links are in the description to part 2 if you can't find it. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Agent Marshall Marty out.